Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we have another video for you guys um, with the transporter. Um, the customer want to paint his van inside out this time. So we have to take all the panels off. It will be painted in um, BMW orange and uh, Audi Suzuka white. It's a T5.1. Uh, it will be a full respray inside out this time. So um, it will be orange on the bottom, white at the top, and um, he wants to do the inside of the seals as well. So if you're gonna open the doors, it will be orange and white as well. It's a lovely car, already converted to a camper. Looks very nice from inside. So um, yeah, we have uh, lots of stripping to do on this one here. Uh, take all the locks off, all the trims, all the rubber seals. So that will be loads of fun. He also requested to sort out these covers. So I'm gonna have to drop them. The car's pretty much clean. There's no dents or anything like that. I did find a few rust spots down here, all the arches. That will be all sorted and uh, we're gonna replace the rear bumper because there's a dent and it was it was a uh, rough plastic so we're gonna replace the bumper um, we have a few upgraded stuff like the rear lights he requests everything needs to come off like the transport signs the tda sign and uh, it will be all dehon as well so all these will come off replaced with the black or carbon didn't choose yet. Um, this is a bit of a normal on the edges of the doors, a few rust bits here on the bottom as well. Uh, we're gonna drop the side bars as well, those will be replaced for black ones. So, yeah, we're gonna do the handles as well, probably color coded to the rest of the car, um, same as the side mirrors. Uh, the indicators will be replaced uh, along with the headlights and uh, we're gonna put a lower sport line bumper on there so it will look a bit more modern and more attractive and uh, yeah first thing as usual have to put the snow foam on and uh, clean it up I must say that roof was something to do. That was probably not clean since it was installed. So yeah, um, all clean, sort of. Um, I'm gonna take it in now. Um, I will repair a few dents here and there, and uh, then we're gonna start sanding down, sanding, sanding, sanding again. And um, yeah, start stripping all the panels off. Okay, so the whole van is sanded with the 320 grit sandpaper. I've done the bumper with the 120. Um, I just have to sand it completely on the plastic because it's a, oh, it was a rough plastic bumper, as you can probably see. 
So um, I have to take everything off while I was there and uh, I'm probably gonna have to primer it a few times to get a nice and smooth surface. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the wheels off now, all the arches and everything. You're gonna start stripping the van now and uh, I'm probably gonna prepare the chassis first for painting with the roof and then I'm gonna do the panels like the door, sliding doors and everything separately. So let's continue. start with the roof first because it's just too difficult to do it all at once and uh, probably I'm gonna paint the pop roof first I'm gonna let it dry I will prepare the rest of the van for painting um, soon as that's fully dry I'm gonna open it up which is a bit of a difficult over here because it's a bit low but uh, yeah I have to get underneath here so I can paint it completely behind it I just don't want to have edges when you're gonna open the roof on the chassis so yeah I still have to Grab the rest of the car, um, mask it up, and um, we're gonna start painting. Okay, so here we are in the spray, but again, session number two. The roof was painted uh, yesterday, that's already dry, but the bonnet as well at the same time. So yeah, it uh, took me a couple of hours to mask tape and get everything ready really. And um, yeah, time to do some more painting. So uh, yeah, we're gonna start with the white, then we're gonna do the orange. The wheels are off as well and everything so I can do the seals inside. And um, yeah, let's do it.
Okay, guys, so as you can see, the car's on the ramp. I um, spent a few days uh, flattening the paint and polishing it. Still needs cleaning, but uh, these are the upgraded stuff, what the, the customer required to get rid of the chrome bits. So um, we used several supplies from um, online shops, and uh, this is the front batch which goes in the grill. Uh, we also have uh, covers for the door handles, but we will not use them because uh, he decided to just uh, color code it with the rest of the car. Also, rear batch on the back doors. That's just uh, the duct tape. And uh, the biggest upgrade probably are the headlights and the rear lights. So after a few messages he decided to go for these ones basically it has a dynamic indicator which goes uh, from the corners from both sides it's a uh, full LED I must say I do like this it's a uh, gloss plug so I think it will suit the one very nicely from the back just plug and play cable so um, you don't really have to adjust nothing hopefully um, These are the headlights, active indicator again. So the, the, the dynamic indicator is uh, this white bottom line. I will show you how it works when it's gonna be on the car. Um, the only disappointing thing is for the money, I think they can sort out somehow the wiring because it is just hanging there, some, some, some tape. But personally, I think they can maybe cover it up because all these connectors, they're not really secured properly, protected from the water, what might come in. Also, again, should be a plug and play connector, so hopefully they will be installed with no issues. Um, for the front bumper, we have uh, the bottom sport line bumper, which I'll show you once it's on the car. And uh, we're gonna put these gloss black honeycomb grills. The fog lights will probably still gonna be gonna keep the fog lights so yeah all ready to go on and uh, this is the upper grill so yeah but for some reason the upper grill is not gloss black it's mud black Oh, so yeah, I have to contact the owner now and tell him the good news. I think what he said, if you're gonna make it gloss or leave it as it is, we have to figure it out. And uh, the last bit is just a flat cover for the door lock mechanism. That was chrome as well, so it will be gloss flat. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's put it on the car now and see the result.
So yeah, that's the transport gone. Uh, the owner was pretty much happy with the job. Um, so he's got some five hour drive back home. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, we have loads of other stuff going on. Like you can see in the background, we're quite busy. Miroslav is still working on the cars. And uh, the next video we'll be planning to do for a long, long time. And we've got actually everything ready for it is another transporter. That's from the body section. Uh, from the mechanical section, we have uh, the Cupra videos coming. We have to make it four wheel drive and stuff. So yeah, loads of interesting stuff. So yeah, stay tuned and thanks for watching. See you later.